you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. This video will demonstrate how to install and configure an Unleashed network using the AP Gateway mode with a browser user interface. When configuring the Master Unleashed AP as a gateway, the AP is going to be sitting in between your LAN and WAN connection. It will act as a gateway for both the wired and wireless clients. All the traffic will go through this AP, and the AP will do the DHCP server functions as well as NAT and other master functions. When configuring the master AP in the gateway mode, there are a few limitations compared to the typical install. All Unleashed AP models with multiple Ethernet ports support the gateway mode if your network's WAN bandwidth is higher than 100 megabits per second. However, we recommend using 11AC Wave 2 or 11AX APs for a faster internet access experience. The more horsepower, the better. In release 200.9, we added a feature to disable WLANs, so the dedicated AP can function as a dedicated gateway controller, leaving the other unleashed APs in the network to handle the WLAN clients and traffic. In the gateway mode, the maximum number of APs in an unleashed network is 25 versus 128 in the typical mode, and it will support 512 clients versus 2,048 clients in the typical mode. There is also no VLAN or Bonjour gateway support. When mesh is enabled in the gateway mode, and when the WAN IP address is obtained via PPPoE, the master AP cannot be part of a mesh tree. However, mesh can still be enabled, and any member AP can be a root AP or mesh AP. The WAN and LAN IP addresses must be different in IP subnets, and the address ranges may not overlap. In the gateway mode, redundancy is disabled. This means that if the master gateway AP goes offline for any reason, a member AP will not be able to take over and become the new master. To configure the access point in the gateway mode, after booting up, when the power LED is solid green and the control LED is blinking green, the AP is ready to configure. At this point, it will broadcast a configure.me SSID with the last six hex digits of the AP's MAC address. So we'll connect to the configure.me SSID. And we'll select the configure.me, and we're going to connect to it. And after we are connected, we'll open up a browser and we'll type in unleashedruckuswireless.com. And that'll bring us to the wizard and we'll begin our installation. So the first thing is our language. We'll pick English. We're going to initially select typical install and then we will set up the gateway mode in a later menu. We're not going to do the UMM install and we're not going to do a local upgrade. So we'll click on next. And here we go through a five part menu. So first is the name of our Unleashed Network, so we're going to call this Awani Art Unleashed, and we are going to enable Mesh, and then we're going to select Next. In a normal mode, we would do DHCP, but in this case, we're going to select the Gateway Mode, so we're going to tick that box. And now we have to select which port on the AP is going to be our WAN port, and which one is going to be our LAN port. So on this particular AP, I have two ports. I have a PoE in for port 1 and a non-PoE in for port 2, so I'm going to leave it at port 2 for the WAN link. And for my PoE in, that is what's going to be connected to my switch. And you'll notice that the router IP address there is defined as 10.106.0.1. I'm just going to leave the default there. Under the WAN IP address, uh, it gets that by DHCP, or I could put a manual address in there, or I could use PPPoE. Under the LAN side of it, this is my starting address, the ending IP address, and these could be changed. But in this case, the number of IPs is 2,000. And then the lease time is set to 12 hours. That could be adjusted. So I could go 12 hours, one day, two days, one week, or two weeks, up to two weeks. And then I'm going to click on Next. So next is the wireless LAN, and we're going to give our wireless LAN a name of awani underscore art underscore unleashed. Password protected is recommended, so we'll put in a password. And if we wanted to see what it was, we could click on the eyeball there. And then we'll click on Next. This sets up my administration menu. And this is the admin username and password that you will use when you log into the Unleashed dashboard. So we'll just keep it simple with admin. We'll put in a simple password. We'll confirm that. And if I want to do a password recovery, I could tick that box and you would put in a security email and a security question just for the sake of time. I'm going to bypass that for now, but you can come back and do this later. And then we will go to next. 
And this is my review menu. So you will review the information that you put in, the system name. Uh, here we have internal gateway is enabled. The IP mode is DHCP. We get our admin password, mesh is enabled, system time and so forth. And then we'll click on finish. And it'll say unleash will restart after you click OK. And this will take a few minutes. Do you want to continue? So I'm going to click on yes. And now I get a menu saying it's configuring the system settings and rebooting, and it's going to take a few minutes. So this is probably going to take about three and a half to four minutes to do. It gives me a warning. It says, do not power off or reboot the AP, and do not refresh your browser or hit the browser's back button. So I'm going to pause the recording until this is finished. Okay, then we'll get a message after about three and a half to four minutes. It says, congratulations, the Unleashed Master is now configured. So what should I do next? So it says, connect to the Awani Art Unleashed. Remember, that's the SSID that I created. And it says it may take a few minutes for it to reappear because it's got to finish provisioning itself. And then once I've connected to that SSID, then I'm going to log in to unleash.ruckuswireless.com. And it also says you can deploy additional Unleashed member APs by simply connecting an Ethernet cable and ensuring that the APs are powered on. So we're going to wait another 30 seconds or so. So I'm going to pause for briefly. And now I'll go down to my SSIDs, and we can see that our SSID is now being broadcast. So I will click on and connect to that. So now I'm going to type in unleash.ruckuswireless.com. And that'll take me to the website. I'll type in my username, my password, and I'll click on Unleash. And this now brings me to the dashboard. From here, you can configure additional WLANs, add ICX switches, view and monitor clients, and set up administration policies. So as you can see, setting up the Unleashed network in the gateway mode is easy, but you need to keep in mind some of the limitations and the separation of the WAN and LAN networks. Mm -hmm.